What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Sunday, May 8th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NBA playoffs. Let's take a look at this two game slate between the Dallas Mavericks and the Phoenix Suns and the Philadelphia 76ers and the Miami Heat. Okay, let's take a look at the point guard position. So, the studs on the slate at the point guard position. You got Luka Doncic, James Harden, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul. Out of those four guys, of course, Luka Doncic has the biggest ceiling. He's got the most upside on the slate. He can put up 70 plus fantasy points. He's 11,000 DraftKings salary. 500 more on FanDuel, projected at 58.9 fantasy points, and that's 5.4 times value. So Luka Doncic, he's got the biggest ceiling on the slate. Uh, opposed, um, the only other guy that's probably got just as big a ceiling as Luka Doncic is Joel Embiid, but Joel Embiid is coming off of an injury and really hasn't put up the fantasy points that Luka Doncic has. Um, and then the next guy, I think his salary is just juicy here. The next stud that I'm looking at, this is probably the stud that I'm going to play. Now, he's been underperforming his season average, and I just think it's a matter of time before he gets back to putting up his season average numbers. It's James Harden from the Philadelphia 76ers. And he averaged 50.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 37 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. James Harden is projected at 51.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's six times value because his salary just keeps sliding, keeps sliding down because he hasn't been performing. He's only 8,500 DraftKings salary. Same price on FanDuel, James Harden. Let's just take a look at his last five games. He scored 35, 40, 33, 53, and 31 fantasy points in his last five games. So one of those five games, he had a 50 plus fantasy point performance. Now he played 37, 41, and 34 minutes in the last three games. So this is probably my favorite stud on the slate because he definitely has that 50 plus fantasy point upside and his salary is just super cheap right now. So I like James Harden here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, now the other two studs, you got Devin Booker and Chris Paul. And if you want to play one of these guys, I think it's pretty easy the way you play these guys. So Devin Booker is 8,400 DraftKings salary. 600 more on FanDuel and Chris Paul is 8100 DraftKings salary but he's 1600 more on FanDuel so I would just play Chris Paul on DraftKings and Devin Booker on FanDuel both of these guys have 40 plus fantasy point upside they're both projected for around 43 45 fantasy points and that's you know, about 5.3, 5.4 times value. And they're both playing about the same minutes, very similar upside. So both of these guys are good plays here. Um, I wouldn't have both of them in your lineup, even though they both can put up 40 plus fantasy point games in the same game. More often than not, one of them will probably be hot while the other one is a little cooled down. So again, the way I would play this is Chris Paul on DraftKings for 8,100 and Devin Booker on FanDuel for 9K. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, 
All you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, now moving into some of the lower salary plays here. You got Tyler Hero from the Miami Heat. He averaged 34.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He's projected at 32.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.3 times value. He's 6,100 DraftKings salary, 100 less on FanDuel. Now, he's dealing with an ankle injury, but he's had some time to recover, and he did play last game. He scored 21, 34, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 27, 33, and 29 minutes. So if Tyler Hero can go out there and play 30 plus minutes here tonight, I think he's in a pretty good spot since his salary has come down quite a bit. So I like Tyler Hero here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, a value play that I continue to like, he's getting enough minutes. He's been struggling the past couple of games, but I still like Spencer Dinwiddie from the Dallas Mavericks playing the Phoenix Suns. Spencer Dinwiddie has averaged 28.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He's projected at 27.9 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.5 times value. He's 5,100 DraftKings salary, and he's 500 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Spencer Dinwiddie scored 19, 16, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 24, 28, and 30 minutes. So he's getting plenty of minutes, 25 to 30 minutes per game. And he certainly has 25 to 35 fantasy point upside getting those minutes. And his salary is pretty cheap, especially on FanDuel. So I like Spencer Dinwiddie here versus the Phoenix Suns. Now another point guard that I like, this guy's getting a ton of minutes, is Tyrese Maxey from the Philadelphia 76ers. And he averaged 30.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 33 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value or just about five times value. He's 6,700 DraftKings salary, 600 more on FanDuel. So I might stay away from Tyrese Maxey on FanDuel but I think that DraftKings price looks just right. And Tyrese Maxey has scored 38, 44, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 43, and 35 minutes. So he's getting plenty of minutes, he's got that upside. So I like Tyrese Maxey on DraftKings here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, now for right around the same salary, and actually the salary is much lower on FanDuel, take a look at Jalen Brunson from the Dallas Mavericks, and he averaged 30 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. So he's projected at 31.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's only 4.7 times value, so just keep that in mind. Um, he's 6,600 DraftKings salary, 100 more on FanDuel. Now, he had a good game last game, scored 43 fantasy points in 36 minutes. Uh, but I think he's probably going to put up something more between 30 and 35 fantasy points. So if he scores on the lower end, only 30 fantasy points, it's going to be a little under five times value and might not be the best play. Although at only 6,700 FanDuel salary, I think this is more of a FanDuel play for me. So I like Jalen Brunson, but um, he's not my top pick here. Uh, I think he is capable of going out there and playing 35 minutes and putting up 40 fantasy points. But um, there's probably some other plays that I would prefer. But I do like Jalen Brunson on FanDuel 
here versus the Phoenix Suns. Okay, now here's a value play. He had a bad game last game, but he is playing enough minutes where he can easily hit value here. Probably my favorite value play on the slate. I like Victor Oladipo from the Miami Heat, and he averaged 22.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 22 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He's projected at 24.3 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.7 times value. He's 4,300 DraftKings salary, and he's 400 less on FanDuel. So only 3,900 FanDuel salary. I love that FanDuel price. And Victor Oladipo has scored 9, 28, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 20, 28, and 26 minutes. So I would love Victor Oladipo for 25 minutes here tonight. I think he could score 25 fantasy points or more and crush value on both sites. So I like Victor Oladipo here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard. I've gone over most of these guys already, but here's another guy that I like playing a ton of minutes. Take a look at Reggie Bullock from the Dallas Mavericks. And Reggie Bullock, has scored 31, 25, and 17 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 36, and 32 minutes. Now, he's only projected at 20.1 fantasy points here tonight. He only averaged 17.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 13% usage rate. So not a high usage rate. The ball's not in his hands all that much. But if he is going to play close to 40 minutes, I think you got to consider him here tonight. This would be more of a tournament play here. If you're just really looking to make your lineup different, uh, just to hope that he plays 35 to 40 minutes and puts up 30 plus fantasy points. But um, he's 5,200 DraftKings salary. Same price on FanDuel. So I like Reggie Bullock as a tournament play, a high-risk, high-reward tournament play here versus the Phoenix Suns. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. Uh, a stud that's in a pretty good spot here on DraftKings is Jimmy Butler. He's only 8,900 DraftKings salary. Now, he is 1,500 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price. Jimmy Butler scored 51, 53, and 34 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 37, and 30 minutes. So he could easily put up 50 plus fantasy points here and crush value on DraftKings. Probably stay away from him on FanDuel. I think he's a little overpriced, but I like Jimmy Butler on DraftKings here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay, another guy that's just playing a ton of minutes, so you can't ignore this guy, is Mikal Bridges from the Phoenix Suns. He averaged 26.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. He's projected at 29.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's just about five times value. He's 6,000 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel. And Mikal Bridges has scored 26, 28, and 34 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 38, and 42 minutes. So he's playing monster minutes, which gives him that 30 plus fantasy point upside to get you five times value or more. So I think he's an interesting play here. 
um, just because his salary is low enough, his minutes are, he's just playing so many minutes where it makes him attractive here. So I like Macau Bridges as a nice mid-range play here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, another mid-range play, a little bit cheaper here, playing a bunch of minutes and has been pretty good over the past few games. Take a look at Jay Crowder from the Phoenix Suns. He scored 41, 33, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 29, and 28 minutes. So he's 5,400 DraftKings salary, 400 more on FanDuel. I think he's um, 41 fantasy points in 35 minutes. He's not going to do that very often, but he's certainly capable of putting up 30 plus fantasy points and getting you five times value or more. So I like Jay Crowder as a, you know, a mid-range value play here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. Now, I just think this guy's underpriced on DraftKings, priced way up on FanDuel, so I love this DraftKings play. Take a look at Tobias Harris from the Philadelphia 76ers. He's averaging 33.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He's projected at 35.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 7,000 DraftKings salary. Now he's 1,300 more on FanDuel. So I'm cer I certainly don't love that FanDuel price. Uh, this is probably a DraftKings play for me. But Tobias Harris scored 37, 41, and 37 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 38, in 36 minutes he hasn't scored under 31 fantasy points in his last five games hasn't scored under 37 fantasy points in his last four games so he's been pretty consistent here and that dk price of only 7,000 that just looks way too cheap to me so i like tobias harris here versus the miami heat okay moving on to the center position so Joel Embiid, he's a stud. He did come back from injury and played 36 minutes last game. Played, um, sorry, he scored 37 fantasy points in 36 minutes. So I do think you got to consider him here tonight. If he's going to play 36 minutes, he's got 60 plus fantasy point upside. I am a little bit cautious here because it's only his second game back. But he's had some time to rest, so I like Joel Embiid. 9,800 DraftKings salary, 200 more on FanDuel. Um, I think he's one of those guys that he can just go out there and break the slate. So I like Joel Embiid, but I am cautious here. So I like Joel Embiid here versus the Miami Heat. Another center that I like is Bam Adebayo from the Miami Heat. And he's averaging 40.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate, projected at 41.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.5 times value. Only 7,500 DraftKings salary. He's 1,000 more on FanDuel. And Bam Adebayo has scored 17, 40, and 51 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 33, 32, and 33 minutes. So I think Bam Adebayo makes a fantastic DraftKings play. So another guy on the slate, just real quick, is DeAndre Ayton, and he's 7,300 DraftKings salary and only 100 more on FanDuel. So I think the way you could play these guys is play Bam Adebayo on DraftKings, but then DeAndre Ayton, at only 7,400 FanDuel salary, if you want to play him, I would play DeAndre Ayton on FanDuel because you're coming way down here. Bam Adebayo was 8,500 FanDuel salary, where DeAndre Ayton is only 7,400 DraftKings salary. Now, I think Bam Adebayo has a bigger ceiling and greater upside. But um, DeAndre Ayton can certainly put up close to 40 fantasy points or more. So I like DeAndre Ayton, but I think that would be a FanDuel play. 
And if you're scrapping for one more value play here or some guy to make your lineup different, take a look at Maxi Kleber from the Dallas Mavericks. He scored 31 fantasy points last game, played 32 minutes. He's only 4,900 DraftKings salary, 400 less on FanDuel. So this is a guy that can certainly go out there and put up 25 plus fantasy points and his FanDuel price looks pretty cheap. Now I think there are some other value plays that I would prefer like a Victor Oladipo, but I think this guy is worth considering for a value play, especially if you want to make your lineup different. So I like Maxi Kleber as a value play, especially on FanDuel here versus the Phoenix Suns. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.